there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Hype Train! We're back looking at a couple more trailers here on the channel, and I have real little comedy here to actually <laughs> enjoy them with me. So, uh, yeah, it's been a while since we've watched one of these, so we're going to actually jump in with superheroes. We've actually probably gone through a couple of movies that are worth watching yep. today and not watching, but this is one of the big ones. Uh, Warner Brothers continued experiment of the DC movie universe. Just Hasn't... Nice League. Is it the Just Nice League? Or yeah, well, the... compared to fucking Marvel, at this point, it's Just Nice League, because... Super Friends. The Batman vs. Superman thing was a... Wow, there's a big clusterfuck. Don't you nod at me over there. <laughs> Our producer, producer is disagreeing producer. with Batman vs. Superman hatred. And I'm not, I don't hate Batman vs. Superman. I just think it was a very, very, very poorly constructed movie and tried to do too much at, in oh, one yeah. time. Like, that's the biggest problem it had. It had too many things going you on. You know you loved it, Fergo. You know you loved it. It, it was meh. It was meh. It was meh. It was meh is the best way to describe that goddamn film. But uh, hopefully, Justice League actually redeems the, the series so far because I'm, like, there's a lot of good characters in the DC Universe and I want to see this take off. I want to see the Justice League Unlimited TV show essentially turn into a movie franchise because there are some amazingly cool back characters that were put into that. So let's see how they bring it all together. Alright. Like, they already do look kind of cool. I hold the miracle. Because I was going to say it was Batman. We have to be ready. Go on a hex. But we've already you had to do a hex. We've shit. The others. There's an attack coming from far away. It's so maybe bad. Ice Lab. That's the Batman set. Coming, Bruce. Like a yeah, please. It's already here. Uh, oh. The others. Where yeah, are that's they? Nice Miles Dyson is going to be a member of the Terminator too. Playing, Arthur uh, Curry, the Aquaman. Curry. It's on him. <laughs> Organic and biomechatronic body parts. He's a cyborg. I really hope this you should probably move. Barry Allen. Whoever you're looking yeah, for, no, his face not me. Right We've seen the shot as well, didn't they? Uh, He's a Batman. Yeah. Well, that's better. They said the age of heroes would never come again. It has to. Is there minimize the Batman's there when they're free to see what's on the rest of them? I think the star belt has the mic yet. Yeah, that's true. Ah, I like that. What is that enemy? What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. <laughs> I'm totally <laughs> smart. I'm rich, bitch. Rich James, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, is that a backpack? Oh, Mary. Oh, cool. Mary's actually in this. I suppose it's in the normal game. Okay, so Earth. <laughs> I'm looking at that. So many questions. See, that's the bit where I think he was going to that thing. Oh, spin it over. And I realize it's not actually because. It's good to see you playing well with right. others again. Just like a bat. I dig it. <laughs> Maybe temporary. Jason's gonna, he's gonna steal this. Yeah, he's gonna, uh, if he's actually playing a bit of a sarky, like, so I think he's like, well, I can beat anybody's ass. And then they like, looks over at one of them like, if you just play, everybody. If he just plays it like he plays Ronan from Stargate Atlantis in like seasons four and five of Star Stargate Atlantis, where his character had more humor in it, but he was yeah. still a badass. Um, then he he'll he'll steal this role because as a lot of people know him as Drago or Cal Drago, uh, Cal yeah. Drago from Game of Thrones, <laughs> and he was brilliant. Yeah. That fucking thing didn't speak <laughs> that, any English. The boxer from I know. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, huh? I managed to start. I just, oh, he knows. I just missed Star Wars. That's how I started that off. Off screen talent. You stay over there, <laughs> right? He was a fact checker. He was checking to make sure he said the facts. <laughs> Stargate Atlantis. He was in Stargate. He was in Stargate Atlantis from season two. No, season halfway through season one. Then he was in season two, three, four, and five. But he was funnier. <laughs> it was funnier in seasons uh, four and five. There's more humor. He's more human. Yeah. It's just whenever I hear Stargate, I actually when somebody turned to me and tried to explain like, oh, you should really watch Stargate, man. I was like, yeah. All right. So how much of it is there? Well, there's like 11 seasons of, three seasons of, two seasons of the movie. And I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just left my beer and walked away. <laughs> I was like, I can't. Just like, 
Just like one anime show for you. No, man. Well, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Oh God. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But I, Jason, he's gonna. He's gonna stay. He's as far as I'm concerned, he's probably gonna steal this. Uh... I would like. To, I like the fact that there's gonna be banter between that Batman, the the Bruce, Ave, the, Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Bat ben, Fleck. Ben, Bat Fleck. The Batfleck and uh, that Aquaman because they're Batfleck was uh, one of the best things about Superman versus Batman. Then Wonder Woman, and sadly, like Superman, his own fucking sequel to his own movie <laughs> was the worst thing in his own fucking film. Um, which we're kind of glad that he was killed off then. Yep. Um, the or was spo- he? Spoilers. Yeah. I, you know, there's a uh, there's a possibility he could come back at the end of the season, but but there's a there's a reasoning <laughs> behind that. Sure. Yep, Amy Adams. Yeah, I mean, essentially, are they trying to force Lois Lane into the entire universe as much as possible just to keep it going? Remember, there was a Superman. That's <laughs> like, really? Remember, so, yeah. there's, there's, remember, one, there's Superman one big question I have. One? There's one big question I have because the monsters that you really saw in Justice League are not the parademons from the dream that Bruce Wayne had in uh, Batman vs. Superman. That's a different creature, different enemies. That looks like the same creatures that Blue Beetle came from. They still have wings. They had wings, but they're not the same. They actually are, they're like Blue Beetle. Uh, there's a different character called Blue Beetle that uh, is part of the DC Universe who is essentially the Scar Beetle that actually attaches to somebody's spine and covers them in like an exosuit of armor. Not the same kind of thing that actually created uh, Cyborg. The thing that made Cyborg was a mother box, which is someone that's from uh, the Land of Apocalypse, which yep. is what they're going to lead up to. And that's what we saw inside the dream. What we saw there is not the Parademons from Apocalypse. What we saw there is what looks like the more Beetles from... Uh, from space so they're actually the essentially you know when you said like they, they've rung the dinner bell from the end of uh batman's versus superman where lex is essentially saying like they're coming and <laughs> the red coats are coming the red coats are coming he isn't actually referring to the parademons he's not referring to mm, apocalypse he's not, not referring directly. to dark side he's referring to just all of the aliens are going to come now and that's a really good idea for justice league to start off with the blue beetle uh alien species rather than actually dealing with doing apocalypse and dark side and the return of superman immediately i'm gonna call it now this is going to be like the Avengers. Generic bad guys. Some space gate thing. You know, some beam in the sky. You know. I think it's going to be more ships <laughs> than it's going to be. It'll be ships and asteroids. Call, I'm still going to call it beam in the sky. Yeah, because the beam in the sky will actually be Apocalypse because literally they have things called boom tubes. That's how they arrive. They arrive through literally literally a hole in the hole in, a hole in space called a boom tube that goes boom and things appear out of it. <laughs> so um, I'm well in the bet. Like, you're, you're exactly right. Whenever Apocalypse comes in. But I think these are going to actually be like asteroids falling we'll, to Earth. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, my main issue with this filler was actually Cyborg, and not the fact um, there's an uncanny valley on his face somewhere. Well, it's not that. It's not that. It's just you know technology. It, you name uh, Stargate, Star Trek. You name any a whole bunch of different t- TV shows. Um, Westworld. You know you've got a very powerful android or a robot or something. You don't need to actually show the whole fucking cyborg character. It's like all he has is his face. He had more. There's a reason why that's all that's left of him, though. I mean, even still, I mean, fucking Robocop had Robocop had more fucking realism to him. That's well, I mean, there's more left of him. Uh, but the thing is, with cyborg, he is ninety percent. Like the only thing left is his brain. Part of his, not even whole of his brain. Part of his brain, his heart, and his spinal column. That's literally. I uh, think about the skin, even like that we bet on his face, but. The really obvious part, but even his skull underneath that—that's a skin. That's the same as Robocop, just skin over the top of it. He is more mechanical than man, because um, essentially he was heavily, he was like really badly Synthetic injured. Synthetic skin, Nick. Yeah. You know, oh, he can look. I'm, I'm sure they'll be they, like, they, in the cartoons and stuff in the comics. They've mentioned it, but it's just the fact that he he, he, he chooses to be that way because essentially you go like, I wear my pain on my, I wear my pain on the outside kind of thing. Where if people want to treat me like a monster, they can treat me like a monster. But I am a man. I'm still a man, no matter what I look like. That's a good rule. That's a good so thing that she has. Or this? He's he's an intelligent Frankenstein. He's Frankenstein's monster because mm-hmm. his father was Frankenstein. It's, his father did that to him by put, making him merge with a mother box, which was in the comic books and stuff. And you saw it in the background in that little email video that was in uh, Batman vs Batman as well. So you saw his creation. You've already seen this creation, so you saw his origin. Yep. But um, it's I think it's going to be more about him dealing with it. But um, Justice League. Pulling the train up for that. I'm definitely going to check this out whenever it comes oh, out. Yeah. Uh, there's no there's no reason for me. There's too many good things in that trailer to make me say no. But the one thing that just makes me afraid because of this trailer is the fucking choice in music. That's uh, like, it reminds me way too much of Suicide Squad. And if they do that with a soundtrack and this, <laughs> that was one of the biggest problems I had with that fucking movie. It's like going like, it's a jukebox musical. That's, that's what the fucking Suicide Squad movie ended up being. It was just like, all right, here's an excuse to use this so, song and this. Cut to it. be fair, like, that, oh that trailer won't have one song. It had one song, that's what they, but the same way Suicide Squad had one really good song in it as well. No, 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 no. And the Suicide Filler, 
if I remember correctly, when it came out. Holy it, it had like three. There was like it's a couple about, of different trailers. They had like two or three different songs in the one trailer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the it's just the fact that whenever they did the trailers for those, it's because they went to a specific company that does that kind of trailer. And I think they've gone back to them for this, but I don't think that company's involved in the actual edit of the movie. I think they are, they, because that company was just a trailer movie, but in the end of the success of the trailers from Suicide Squad, they took that movie and gave it to them to edit against the behest of the original director and the original company that was doing it. So I think, the, one, they got a little bit of backlash on that, and two, they, uh, they wouldn't make the same mistake twice because there was that, that, that fucking <laughs> Suicide Squad movie is terrible, terrible editing in so many places. There's no pacing, there's no control, there's no focus in the entire story. It's like, Five mini stories all happen in exactly the same fucking time. That's what Su- yeah, that's what Suicide Squad was. But the reason why is because those soundtracks sell fucking insane. Have you seen the poster for Guardians of the Galaxy Two? It looks like the the biggest album about to hit nineteen ninety seven. Is that the black and white one or? <laughs> it's the one with them all leaning against the wall and oh, all yeah, yeah, their striking yeah. poses. Yeah, from black. It's like fucking brilliant. There's a, there's, it's a brilliant poster. A really... But it's a definitely it's a, it's an album cover from the nineties. I've seen that, I've seen that uh, picture. I was like, yeah, they're leaning against the wall. What the fuck do? But that's a, it's an intentional meme. Eh. Yeah, exactly. Like, so, eh. uh, yeah, well, I, I, didn't mind, I don't mind it on Batman whenever he was doing the swinging, but I really noticed it on Cyborg whenever they just get, made him say a line. But the thing is, they had the same problem with Batman for Superman. Some of the CGI was a bit dodgy in it, but it improved from the first trailers to the release of the film. So this has got, what, till October or something before it comes out? November? Or is it actually, like, is it this summer? When does it come out? Uh, then the... Was it next year? No. What? Uh, would you, you buy... Wonder Woman, and then I think this is November. I think Justice League is November. Come I on, f- come on, our fact finder, Fergal. Well, our fact finder actually does a double check on it. Uh, Justice League. The three I, I will here. always, always, always recommend Justice League Unlimited, the Paul Dini animated series. If you haven't watched that, if you haven't seen... Uh, just like if you don't know anything about the DC universe, then it's well worth checking out that animated series. When is it? November, November of this year. Yeah, remember, that's what remember I Justice League is November. So yeah, we got that to look forward. We're Stephen Amell. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Stop! <sighs> don't even go there. Don't even go there. Well, yeah. I I I I would prefer a crossover with Supergirl. I prefer a Supergirl show rather than this rather than Superman coming back. That's how, that's how much I actually really don't want to see that Superman come back. <laughs> I just, I just didn't like it. I didn't like his portrayal. I didn't enjoy him. I was like, I'd rather see Supergirl. I'd rather see Kara. I, in fact, do you know what would be a really good fucking thing if they... This is just me making a prediction and saying a really good idea is how successful Supergirl's been. Instead of Kal-El rising from the grave, have Kara, Kara Zor-El come down from space being followed by Darkseid and the Apocalypse crew so that she ends up being the hero that saves the world rather than fucking Superman. And then if you want to do a redemption story for Superman where you've had enough time between the movies and that way you end up actually making use of a lot of really good groundswell support for Supergirl and for that character which has been happening because of the CW shows. That's just my two cents. Don't fucking bother with Superman again. That actually makes sense. But yeah. It's, it's Warner Brothers. Yeah. I, they catch up with yeah. Marvel. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 want, they want their Avengers. Yeah. So, essentially. Well, well, the thing is, they want their Avengers, it adds a female cast member. Well, that's true. That's one thing. That's one thing. Marvel still haven't fucking managed to successfully pull off again. Is actually go like they put Scarlet Witch in, and then remove another character out. That's the way they're shuffling the team at the moment. Because Black, they've got Black Widow. No, that's what I mean. They're saying Black Widow's not going to be. She's like after the tension ends that she doesn't want to come back after uh, the Infinity Wars. So the Scarlet Witch will be. They're literally going to rotate one in, rotate one out at the end of the series. Like that's what. That's, that's from what I've heard. Ah, but, ah, but that's... Because she's got like a career to go on to. They've got... They, well, they have, they have they're, shoot, they're still shooting about three more movies. But she's still in... She still helped Cap in Captain America Civil War. Ah, but that's what I mean. She's, a, she's shooting the three movies now for Infinity War and New Wars. Hmm. And then that's her done. Huh. Same way... Unless like, she gets her... Same way Cap. The guy's playing Cap. Uh, he's... Did you know what exactly he said whenever it came to those movies? He said, like, uh, will, you be, will you be appearing in more films? Like, my contract is finished. Let's see what side of a brink struck me back up. And then literally for him, it's like, if you, will, if you pay me, I will show up for these movies because you've got them deep, deep, deep pockets. And then she you knows that's owned by Disney. He's going, like, you have deep pockets. <laughs> so he said, well, like, you Chris, Chris Evans, you Chris, even Chris Evans, you know, was recently interviewed there and, he, and he's... In... He wants to direct. He doesn't want to actually be an actor anymore, I don't think. But, but, that's there's, a, but there's a link in the recent interview, he goes, you know what? 
there's there's always a good chance that uh, I will always I'll always come back to that character. Yes. So you know he. They, they, they've, they've changed the team format. So if they, they were smart, they would write him out for a bit, uh, doing whatever, put him in stasis, fucking freeze him again or something. What they did in the comics was actually made him old, so the, the serum ran out, so we had to get a new juice, get, he needed to get reduced before he could come back again. So that, you could do that. They sent you, and then the fact that as he gets older, he sent you going like, well, if I don't want to come back, I can just get old, and I can still play the character. <laughs> old man, Captain America! Old man, um, Captain America. Well, I... That was an interesting hype train. Yeah, there's yeah. a we, we, we ran the gamut of every single superhero movie that's coming out for the next goddamn year while talking about it. But Justice League uh, has been like the trailer is super entertaining. Um, it doesn't show us too much. Uh, it's got it, I think it's a, not what, as much as Homecoming. Yeah, they definitely the Homecoming showed a lot. Um, I still think that's not going to be the Power Demons and Dark Side. I think it's going to be the, the Blue Beetles race. I can't remember. what... I think they're just called the Scarabs because they're Scarab Beetles. But they essentially are like uh, they infect people by like getting onto them and then put the shell over the top and then taking over their mind and then essentially using their bodies. So I think that's what it's going to imply, rather than actually being uh, apocalypse and dark side, which is, which will which will Faces be the next big army. thing. Faces, a faces army that actually will be able to attack, and in that way will be very similar to it. And like the song says, we'll bring them together, right. and then it won't be the come just together nice league, it's just the league. Yeah, the that's just nice. us league. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed me talking about this and Will talking about this and the uh, theories... Our producer bump, bumping in. <laughs> he had some Back points to say. Fergal. Uh, if you enjoyed Fergal. our uh, the theorizing and everything else. And you had a, if you have a theory of your own, <laughs> feel free to actually put it in the comments underneath. Um, there's so many questions to ask and I wouldn't mind answering back and forth. Let's keep this discussion going. So remember to hit the subscribe button up here if you want to actually see uh, more videos from this channel. And of course, over on this side, there's a playlist. You can actually see the ones for the rest of the Hype Train series has been up there and most recent videos here on the channel and the one that I personally, I personally recommend for you. So this is goodbye from me and goodbye from him. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see all you dudes next video. Goodbye. Bye.